Brooks with a 1953 report from the State High School basketball championship game between the Irish of Clinton St. Mary's, the Ottumwa Bulldogs. Much of this story will be written in the 16,000 seat Iowa Fieldhouse, but a lot of it all is also written in downtown Iowa City where cars from the four corners of the state representing every county are on hand to see the night of the year, St. Mary's of Clinton and Ottumwa. High school boys and girls from all over the state wearing their colorful jackets representing their school colors are on hand and the kids are hanging out of the windows of the hotels, walking up and down the streets, taking in a movie or so or a little meal to just get themselves ready for the big championship game. But the talk in Iowa City and on the university campus is about only one thing, whether or not Clinton St. Mary's, a team that did not win their conference championship, did not win their diocese championship, can defeat the double-A Ottumwa Bulldog, a team that uh, swept through the lower bracket and are champions of the Little Six Conference. One subject and one subject alone on this March afternoon as the crowd now moves into the Iowa Fieldhouse, Clinton St. Mary's Ottumwa. In the upper bracket, Clinton St. Mary's defeated East Waterloo in the first game, Sioux Sunday defeated Old Wine, and the favorite Clinton River Kings in the semifinals in a double overtime, 53 to 49. Four captains for Clinton St. Mary's, two for a tumble. Meet the officials, the fans getting all set. As the moment has arrived, the climax of the 1953 basketball season. A tumble in their red uniforms introduced in the spotlight. And now Clinton St. Mary's, their starting lineup. Head coaches Lou Galatich and Fred Mosdom ready to send their basketball teams onto the court, but first the fans salute the flag of the United States, and now we're set for basketball. As the crowd was once united, and now it's split with the rivalries of these two schools meeting for the championship as the center jump is taken in the offensive zone by Dave Young of the Atumba Bulldogs. Hands it off to Gene Lemony for the Bittner, number 22, puts it in. Atumba takes a 2-0 lead at the outset of the ball game. St. Mary's of Clinton moves into the offensive zone. Junker and Jim Hyde on the near side. Nick Lingle, number 42. George McAndrews, 35, driving in, trying for the score, but he fails to put the ball in the basket. Goes out of bounds, and Atumwa takes over. Watch this St. Mary's defense now. Lou Galatich has three men on the front line. His two offensive guards, Junker and Hyde, along with Dick Lingle. The two guards out there on the front line, along with the one forward. See how they press out a Tumwa offense around the perimeter and keep them well out of the court. A long shot by Paulson is up in the air and it is no good. Follow up by LaMasters in the air and this one is no good off the back of the rim. Ball rolls free on the court and is picked up by Jim Hyde and Dave Junker of Clinton St. Mary's. Junker in the offensive zone number 23 screens for Tom McAndrews. Sets, shoots and fails to score. Brother George takes the ball off the board, drives to the near side and screens again for Junker, who tries again, and this one is no good off the left side. Look at that little kid jump like a jackrabbit after that ball. Hyde on the near side to George McAndrews. Tumble putting two men out in front, three men behind, a long jump shot by Junker. Sets the fans alive in the field house as this championship game moves along in the first quarter. Clinton St. Mary's grabbing an early lead. The Masters in the offensive zone on the far side. In the far corner now, putting the ball up in the air is Don Parsons. He fails to score. Down to the rebound, George McAndrews for Clinton St. Mary's. Those two fiery guards, Junker drives, shoots, and this one is no good. Follow-up by Tom McAndrews is good. Tom McAndrews had good offensive position for the tap of the ball. And in the offensive zone for Ottumwa comes Gene LeMasters. To Dave Young, the ball is almost stolen away from him. Coaches from all over the state are here watching this game tonight. LeMasters in the offensive zone, handles himself very well. Smooth ball handler, good long shot. Tries one from 30 feet, that's no good. Down to the rebound, Tom McAndrews over the far side, lost it out of bounds. Clinton St. Mary's leading 12 to wait in the first quarter. The offensive zone driving to the near side is Hyde, sets, shoots, it's good again, and there's those two little guards going at it as the Ottumwa defense had figured that the front line of the McAndrew brothers and Dick Lingle would do most of the scoring, but now it's Junker and Hyde giving them a lot of trouble in the first half. Masters in the offensive zone to Dick Parsons. Shot from the corner by the Masters, good, beautiful shot. Now the veteran guard of the Ottumwa Bulldogs. 
Dave Jecker in the offensive zone over on the far side. Jim Hyde to Lingle, driving right-handed jump shot is no good. Down to the rebound comes Lanky Dick Bittner of the Tumble. Gene LeMasters calls timeout as a Tumwa, and their coach Fred Mosden want to figure out just exactly why Dave Junker and Jim Hyde have been doing a good deal of the scoring from their guard spots. There's the Cinderella team of the year, Lou Galatich's Clinton Irish. St. Mary's cheerleaders in front of the Ottumwa bench. You can see how excited they are as everybody is tonight in the field house. Dave Young in the offensive zone drags his pivot foot and travels. St. Mary's takes over. Dave Junker in the offensive zone over on the far side to Jim Hyde. Hyde, Junker, and Tom McAndrews play catch with the ball to Dick Lingle in the corner. Lingle turns around, gives it back to Tom McAndrews. They overload on the far side now. They clear the ball to five feet beyond the free throw circle. George McAndrews trying to get a pass away. Loose ball is picked up by Tom McAndrews, who puts it up, fails to score. Down to the rebound on the near side comes Dave Young, and he's fouled. Young shooting for a tumble puts it up and in. Dave Junker brings the ball across the midline. Clinton St. Mary's defeated Roland in the semifinal round, 57 to 53. Violation for the Irish. Atumwa takes over in their red, blue, and white uniforms. The Masters on the far side. Works it away to Bittner, five feet beyond the free throw circle to Dave Young, number 32. This is the Young Atumwa team. A lot of them will be back for another season. Senior stud at Clinton St. Mary's ball club. Shot by LaMasters is way short. Down to the rebound, Tom McAndrews to brother George. And the brother combination works out very well as Dick Lingle takes control in the offensive zone. Dave Junker, Jim Hyde, Dick Lingle playing catch with the ball around the perimeter. George McAndrews, number 35, trying to drive in. Watch him now. He can't find an opening. Hands it off to Tom McAndrews. Right-handed jump shot is no good. Down to the rebound, Dick Parsons for a tumble. They bring the ball down with the guard who does not have control of the ball standing in front of the dribbler. Gene LeMasters to Bittner. Bounce pass is intercepted by Jim Hyde. Long down court pass to Lingle. Drives, jumps, shoots. He does not get the shot. And the Tomo offensive opportunity. State championship game of the 1953 season. Bittner in the offensive zone. Pass intended for Don Parsons is intercepted by Dick Lingle. Lingle brings it down for the Irish. In their gold and white uniforms. On the near side, Jim Hyde. Bounce pass to Dave Junker. Junker turns around. Watch those two guards work that ball. They have quick reactions, quick timing. Hook pass to George McAndrew. Shot from the corner is no good off the left side. Down to the rebound, Don Parsons for a tumble. The Masters again in the offensive zone. A tumble calls another timeout. There's the score. The Irish still lead in the first half. Bettner in the offensive zone over on the far side. Bettner to LeMasters. Near side set shot by Dave Young is no good off the back of the rim. Down to the rebound comes Tom McAndrews. In the offensive zone, Dave Junker on the near side to Dick Lingle. Number 42. Junker, Tom McAndrews, and Hyde play catch with the ball. Junker in control now. Near side to Tom McAndrews in the corner to George. Finds an opening, drives into the free throw lane, jumps, shoots, good. Fine driving right-handed jump shot by George McAndrews. The Irish of Clinton St. Mary's. They lead in this championship game. But they're a bounce pass over on the far side against that 3-2 defense. Hyde and Junker along with Dick Lingle in the front line. Don Parsons loses the ball but was fouled and pushed. His first free throw is missed. His second one is good. Irish again take over. Dave Junker, bounce pass on the near side of the offensive.